is up, Transformer fans and geeks? Zagatron here with another figure review. And today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas. And uh, this is the new line in Transformers, which goes over G1, G2, Beast Wars, and Transformers Prime. So I'm very excited uh, to start reviewing these figures. And uh, we're going to get started here with Iguanas. And Iguanas is from G1, and he was part of the Pretenders line, where the Pretenders had an actual robot, and they had a shell, which would uh, disguise the robot. They wouldn't actually transform, but this, uh, this iteration of Iguanas actually transformed into a bike. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Iguanas in packaging. And this is the uh, uh, brand new packaging from Hasbro, which is more uh, eco-friendly and it does not include any plastic as far as the packaging, which is now uh, easier for thieves now. So they could just, you know, pull the figure out, just cut the, uh, just cut the plastic wiring and just pull him out. And then they go, they got a free figure. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't quite like this, uh, but well, I guess it's a, uh, it's a uh, safer for the environment. Uh, but uh, I, I, don't like it. The packaging does look very nice, but uh, without plastic, it, I don't know. But that's just my opinion anyways. But uh, let's go over the packaging. There is Iguanas there, his uh, vehicle mode. Uh, obviously in G1, he was not a vehicle, but uh, in this version, he is a some sort of motorcycle. And so we do have the new legacy logo there. And so there is Iguanas, very visible. There's no plastic, so there he is in packaging, so we just have the Transformers Legacy. There's his name, Iguanas, he is a Decepticon, and basically the same uh, Transformers logo on the side, Hasbro, and we have some very nice artwork here on the side, and he is a core class figure. On the other side, we have some very nice artwork as well. And let's go through the back. Not much, just we have images of Iguanas in both his modes, in his, uh, robot mode and in his uh, vehicle mode and he does transform in 15 steps all right so that is it for the packaging so let's take iguanas out of packaging and let's check him out so here is iguanas out of packaging and uh, i really dig this guy i think they've done a good job with him uh and especially as a standalone uh core class figure i think he looks fantastic let's bring him up close and take a look at the uh at the details here very, very nice looking head sculpt. Like the uh, the gold and the red paint apps there, that torso. This guy is very, very cool. And I really, really like this guy. With the black paint apps there on the, on the forearms. Very cool. The Seticon symbol in the back. Very nice looking figure as far as articulation. His head is on a ball joint. Can get a whole lot of movement out of it, but yeah, I can look up and down, but he, do, he can look left and right. The shoulders also are on ball joint, so we do get full range of motion, but these wheels get, get in the way, but we do get a whole range of motion out of that shoulder. We do get uh, ball jointed elbows as well. There's no articulation in the hand. We do have waist rotation. We do have knee bend as well as also on a ball joint and he could kick that high up because that could go that far back and we also have feet on ball joints as well so they could rotate in they could rotate back so we have all sorts of angles there on the feet so very very cool figure i quite dig him a lot so Get a bit of into focus here, so let's put him down and let's check out his weapon. And he does come with this, uh, this focus right a little bit. So we, this is his weapon here, and it's also painted in gold and red. Very, very nicely done. And we could also have iguanas here. Let's bring him back in focus. You could have him hold his weapon. Like so. And if you want to store his weapon, you could just 
go ahead and rotate it with the thicker peg and it just goes right back here in his backpack and then we also have weapon storage yay we've got weapon storage so let's put iguanas back here and let's focus a bit if you could just stand up straight and there we go and one cool thing now with the legacy figures that uh, we get now we get tech specs so now in the instruction booklets you have this um, this QR code that you can scan uh, with your phone, and it redirects you to a uh, to his bio. So you can see all, all of Iguana's his stats there, and he is from G1. So this is a very very cool feature that they've added with the legacy uh, figures, and I am very very uh, very happy it did that. And uh, another thing with these, with this particular wave, there's three of them. Is, uh, we've got Iguanas, we have Skywarp, and we have Hot Rod. And uh, you bring it out in the instruction manual. So you combine all their three weapons and it forms that uh, great big sword of death there. So that is really cool as well. All right, so let's focus back in on Iguanas here. And for a quick comparison, let's bring out some of his other core class Decepticons. So here is core class Megatron. And here is core class Soundwave. And these three look very good together. Nice little, uh, nice little portrait there of the three of them. All right. So let's get these guys out of the way and now let's transform Iguanas. All right, now to transform Iguanas, let's remove his weapon. We're gonna plug it right back in anyways, but uh, let's just remove it for now. So we're gonna come around to the back and this is on a hinge. So we're just going to open it up and we're going to fold it. So his head is going to be flush with this part of uh of this hinge so everything make sure everything lines up and so we're going to fold this over his head and it's going to there's two plugs right there and it's going to plug right back in make sure everything is flush and so there we go so that's flush and now we push everything in and so that's how that's supposed to look all right, so we come around the back. And so now we have uh, the bottom part of the bicycle. So this is on a ball joint as well. So we're going to get this piece and we're just gonna, you know, straighten it out like that. And so we're going to get the bottom portion. We're gonna bring it down like so, and then we're going to straighten it out like that. So we're gonna, you can see where this is going to already. Alrighty, so now we're going to get the arms and then we're going to fold them forward like that. We're going to fold them forward like that. Kind of we get that, uh, that Superman looking pose. Alright, so now we're going to rotate at the elbow. And so his, uh, so that we get that port facing inwards. All right, so we're doing the same thing on this side. These are on the ball joints. Make sure you hold them in. And we, and we get a, a good zoom in. All right, so now, you know where these are going. So these, the, in, the inner hand is supposed to come in here because uh, let's make the front part of the bike. So now you're gonna kind of fold the arms in like that. Same thing on this side, we're gonna fold the arm in like that. So kind of like his arms kind of folded. So now we're gonna just tab in the fists right on the, right on the wheel well there. And so let me zoom out and then zoom back in. There we go. Because there's something with a focus here. So now that is supposed to plug into that. Now, since we have everything here, boom, one in. And boom, the other one's in. So now we got that front end of the bike all done. Very cool. All right, so now 
we're going to rotate at the waist. Once we get that. All right, so now we're going to rotate where these pegs here face inward. So we're gonna rotate at the knee. And so this has to face in. Same thing with the other side, rotate and make them face inwards. So these are going to port right into the side of this tail. You see that's right there. And you see that other side right there. So we're going to bend that denny as well. And then we're also going to rotate the feet. We're gonna rotate the feet like so. And then we're going to fold them in like that. Feet are gonna be folded in like that. So now we're gonna do the job of, first we're gonna plug him into the side of his tail so that little port supposed to go into that little notch right there on the side of the tail. So let's make sure we do this first. And then we're going to plug in the rest of the wheel well. This is the part that's a little bit tedious, but there we go. We got one leg in. So now we're gonna do the other side and then we're going to attach them to the tires. And then we got a, we also have a cool looking iguana bike. I'm gonna push that in, give it a little squeeze. We'll make sure that uh, that porch right into the side. Let's push that out of the way, and there we go. So now, fold in the feet, bring up the wheels, and so we have these little ports on the side right there that are going to attach to that side of the tire. So I'm gonna push the tire in. And then we're just gonna port, make sure everything ports into the side. Make sure everything lines up. Make sure you give everything a nice little squeeze. And there we have Iguanas in his very cool looking bike. And you come in and you just plug this on top and to give it the uh, final touch, and that looks phenomenal. Awesome looking figure. All right, and let's see how he rolls. He does roll rather nicely. The problem is, see he falls, but he does roll rather nicely. The only problem that I have with this is that they didn't incorporate a kickstand so you can at least have them he falls see maybe somewhere you could probably come in here and you know get a third party to put a, a plug right here with a ball joint so you could fold in and then you know, it'll fold back out so you could give it a, a kickstand but unfortunately we didn't get that with this guy but overall, awesome, awesome, awesome figure. I quite dig it. Very, very cool. So uh, if you have a little patience, you can actually have them standing without a kickstand. Hopefully still somebody comes out with that uh, third party kickstand. It would have been, would be nice. And uh, what would have been really cool with this figure since he is a pretender, would have come out maybe in a Voyager class. He would have come out with his uh, pretender uh, robot and so the shell, which was this guy, the iguanas, he would have transformed to the bike, and then the actual figure would be able to sit on top. That would have been a nice little touch, but hey, we got this guy, he's great. I'm not uh complaining, just a little nitpick. And so, for some comparisons, here is iguanas with core class sound wave, and here is core class Megatron. All right, there are all three core class uh Decepticons looking pretty cool and for uh one last comparison since we're comparing motorcycles here is yoshi from Mario Kart and his motorcycle since we're comparing bikes there we go all righty so in conclusion another awesome core class figure i really like this guy a lot i just wish they would have uh maybe uh incorporated this guy in a voyager 
uh, maybe uh, as a uh, deluxe class, which is making him an actual pretender uh, where the outside uh, transforms and then you can have the actual pretender figure and he could jump the bike and all that. But you know, that's just a little nitpick. He's just, he's a great figure. I highly recommend him. Uh, I picked this guy up at amazon.com and he is available wherever transformers are sold. So uh, this is it for this video. Uh, please check out my other videos. Please make sure to smash that like button, make sure to subscribe and make sure to comment, make sure to share. So this is Zagatron signing out and this was the Transformers Legacy Core Class Iguanas video review and thank you for watching.